Hello, in this video I'm going to show you guys a few tips uh, about the TID-9 Titanium. So let me just start with when you turn on the, the calculator, and you probably didn't know about this. As you can see, let me zoom a little bit more, there you get this window. It's pretty much a window of your apps, and if you want to do your usual arithmetic calculations you will have to go to where it says let me see over here and uh, yeah uh, homes it's already selected home and that's when you press enter let me show you down here enter and you get your window now many people like myself i don't really need that necessary option there so what can you can what you can do so you will not keep going there after you turn on your calculator you would just go ahead and go to mode right here you can either press f3 to go to the third page and by the way up here it tells you which you know page number one when you press f1 f2 f3 let me zoom in a little bit more there we go see and um, yeah you can either go all the way down so you go to the third page Mm, what thing? Oh, no, there it is. Yep. Okay. Or you can just press F3 and it'll go to that third page. But right here at the bottom was this apps desktop. It's on. So I'm going to go to the right and I'm going to go up and then press enter right here and then press enter again. And when you press enter the second time, it goes to your home screen. Now, now when I turn off the calculator, second, on, you will see this, uh, I'm sorry, and then turn back on, you will see that the, the app, um, the app screen is not there anymore. You go straight to your home screen. So that's one little, one tip. Also, just be aware that they use the bottom mode as a setup, as a setting mode. Another one is that just remember, notice that the calculator has green and blue and um, commands on top. Well, those are related to the but the blue and the green button right here. So if you, for example, need to uh, let's see this go right here something more okay if you want to turn off your calculator for example let's keep it simple here there we go let's zoom in if i want to turn off my calculator calculator i will need to do second key which is the blue one and then the on button double command the off and it's up if i zoom in more you guys can see it got turned off so let's try this again press on it gets turned on. If I do second and on, it will actually turn off. Okay? This is really handy, handy for those who want to do, for example, the natural log command or the sine cosine tangent. So let me turn this on. So, for example, yeah, let me just so let you see the. If I do second and where's the sine? Right here on top of the neck is the y itself. As you guys can see, let me zoom in. Sign is raining down. Okay. Another tip, and this one that not many people actually know about, is that there's an option here to adjust your contract. So let me press enter. Oops. Uh, let me write something down here so we can have something on the screen. And now if I Press the green button, and notice I have a green option here. That's the constant, the construct. So if I press, pre <coughs> excuse me about that, sorry. So when I press the green, and notice that up here, it has a little triangle, I'm sorry, not triangle, a little diamond shape. That shows the green was pressed. And I press my plus, it gets a little darker again. And again, and as you can see, 
my screen is getting darker and darker. And if I press the green again and press the minus sign button, it gets lighter, lighter. So press it, minus, press it, minus. Again, when you press the green button or the yellow, however you want point of view, how you look at it, a little diamond appears down here saying they got pressed. Okay. And let me press ESC to quit that. Now, if you press the second key, a second command comes up here. Again, to show that the second key was pressed. Okay. All right. That's two. Another one that people don't know about either is that this calculator and this, uh, one of the, I don't know, I personally think one of the important part of being a, just an engineer, engineering, engineer calculator is that you can, uh, you can change the type of and how your answer is going to appear. For example, let me clear this. If I have, let's see, three divided by two, I get it as a fraction format or an exact format, which they call it. If I want to change that to a decimal, there's two ways. One, I can do the green button. And notice right here next to the and the enter on top it says screen says has a approximation symbol. If I press it, it gives me the decimal version or the approximation version. And let me zoom in a little bit more. So you guys can see there. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now you can all you can also adjust it under settings, or I'm sorry, under mode in this case to how your answer is going to appear all the times. So I'm going to go all the way down. Or again, you can also use your second key. I mean, your second page right here, your F2. And right here, it says exact slash approx. It's an order right now. That means the Kaku, whatever, what it, what, Whenever you press enter and your whatever answer you get and whichever they think is best to sh display it as, they will decide it. Now, if I go to the right, you see this app either exact or approximate. So if you do exact and press enter, enter again, and then my same question, I'm going to press enter, is going to give me decimal all the times. I'm sorry fractions of the times. However, if I go to back to mode, F2, change the exact to approximate and press enter. And then I'm going to press enter again. Now my test and uh, now my answer is going to appear in decimals. Okay. All right. Oh, before I continue on, please don't forget to like my video comment below, share it, and subscribe. Now, the fifth thing that I would like to show you guys about this calculator is that it has the option to write down letters. So, for example, you see the alpha key right here in white? If I press it and press the equal sign key, and also notice um, on top it has the letter A in white. The A appears in lowercase. Okay. Now, if you want a couple of case, you will press this up, alpha, and you will notice in capital A appears down here. And then when I press the Equal key again. Let me zoom in. As a capital A. Okay. So such like such as oops, excuse me. Such as the equal, the second and the diamond key um, works. The alpha works the same way on the spin underneath. So let me clear this. Press this again. Okay. So when I press alpha. You see right here, the lowercase a, so you can 
type in any lowercase letters it goes to B and if you do the up key notice the lowercase B up here the up key the alpha and notice how it changed to an uppercase and B there it goes you have your upper, uh, your uppercase B All right, and one more thing that I would like to mention is that the calculator has this option. So if you, uh, it's called pretty print. If you go to mode and go down right here, still on the same page right there, you will say, you will see that it says pretty print. Now, now what does that do? Well, for example, right now I have it on, so let's keep it there for now. I'm going to do second, I'm sorry, not second. I'm going to do just ESC, quit. It's pretty much quitting. And I'm going to do, for example, parentheses, three times two, close parentheses, divided by the square let me zoom out so you guys can see. Sorry about that. I did parentheses, three times two, close parentheses, and divided by, and I'm gonna do second. So, uh, let me go back here. Then, oh, by the way, this right here is to erase. I'm gonna do second square root of five close parentheses so as you can see and let me zoom in here it display my problem in this format now if i have turned off the pretty print and let me zoom out here let me go to mode down here right arrow up where it says off enter zoom out, and enter again just remember to press enter twice whenever you guys are setting up the mode all right and then when i'm I've, i'm going to use the same problem uh, press enter to display the answer and as you can notice as you notice let me zoom the display have changed. So that's what this pretty in print does. It prints out the the question or the command in a prettier format, almost like the way you write down on the piece of paper. And if you don't have it like that, I'll write down like this. All right, that is pretty much it. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to check the description for more information where you can follow me, get tutoring services, and how to support me. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.